I said political cor correctness and powers, money, lies. And it is increasing how famous, this is how they get, this is how they, they get famous compared to those who are given um, by God fame and fortune compared to those that create my misfortune because they said I have become famous without the license of politics and the devil. I have become famous without the license of being rich and having more than £22,000 per annum per year in my bank, even not having at least £11,000 per annum in my bank. So I have become famous and popular without the lies, satanic lies, and, and without sexual rituals and selling my sex tape. So, of course, I'm being attacked left, right and centre for being famous and sharing my glory for Yahweh. Yeah, it's not actually Yahweh because um, we don't know God's holy name. We cannot see God, but we can sense God with all our six senses. All our six senses and the pure pure people will see God, this bright light. Uh, pure people will could have heavenly smells, heavenly touches, um, heavenly tastes, heavenly hearing, where they could hear mysterious sounds. All the sixth or even fifth senses of knowing that God is present and um, even though God is invisible we live by faith rather than sight and those who fear him will have that faith we will trust God that God is real and right um, in truth <sighs> true and loving um, so this this is uh, my accountability and my word to, to talk about my private parts as a flower. I don't want to use any other biological term. But in the manner of speaking, I will say it is reminiscent of holy people who are going to be eager enough to live pure lives and to show that God is blessing me. Um, not only by Passover and Holy Communication, Passover, they call it the Eucharist, but also to talk to God in other ways through a personal private prayer where Jesus says, shut the door and pray in private. So again, I have taken these videos about uh, backdated to 2015 and I haven't taken anything since of my pinhole surgery and looking at my vagina and also being examined, I think, oh, nine. So nine years ago, eight years ago, even seven years ago. And then I stopped. So I haven't used my camera since because I became suspicious that I could not become established in my privacy because of capitalism. And so God gave me a, a new life. God resurrected me from the dead in my spirit after the demonic beast, mark of the beast, 666-777-888-999-10-10-10. Those who have stolen what is sacred and pure um, and attempted to condemn me and curse me by these devilish satanic rituals that they're doing. Um and so God had rescued me from that and resurrected me from the dead spirit, spiritually and physically to say that they, they're thieves, they're thieves. And um, they've entered there the same as somebody enters into a private garden and, and private property and being an intruder. So my message in this video anybody listening how important it is for people who are particularly crippled and disabled to be in a position to be bearing their own materials and tools um and this is a sign of um me being royal in god in jesus christ to say this is my human right this is my home and if i'm going to build my home 
whether I'm using the internet or any website, or if I'm building my home by tidying my home, cleaning it or whatever I can do to it to make sure that I'm, I'm building, I'm rebuilding what has been destroyed. So if I'm emotionally exhausted, I lose my energy, I cannot build. So that's how the enemy gets to surround me and gets to scrutinize me based on something that they have imagined I have done wrong um, to suit themselves. So number one, they surround me. And number two, they scrutinize me unfairly. So it's an enemy. And again, this is again my message to say how special my flower is. Um, it's, if I was to put pictures, statues, um, artistic paintings of my flower, which is my privates, my private parts, uh, I don't want to call it a vagina. I'll just say it is my flower. Um, it it would probably would would it would it cost? So the fact that it is private, and people are going to rate it and say how much would it cost? Would it cost more than compared to Mona Lisa painting? And I'll say yes because it was private and it was stolen. <laughs> Because it was stolen, it costs more. Would it cost more than the Queen of England's crown? I'd say yes, because it's private. It was stolen. However, if I chose to publicise my flower, vagina, private part, then I wouldn't be obedient to God because God says... Women are sacred in that way and we're, we have pubic hair to hide it and only shave it for medical reasons or during her menstrual period. And um, so I would be disobedient to God. I, could, I, would, I, would not be a Christ, I would not be a Christian. I would not be a religious category. Um, directly associated to that devil that wants me to adulterate adulterate me in every event and in every sense um so what i have done is uh, when i became alert when the when god is my police the alarm spiritual alarm went off i knew i was being hacked and my privacy in, invaded by the intruders i was then instructed by god to take with God's help, uh, connecting to my my feelings, my mood, connecting to my logic, connecting to any philosophy I have, any inspiration I have, any goal I have, I give to God in my prayer and in my holy communication with Passover, which is remembering remembering Jesus' body and blood. So two things, prayer and communion which is Passover. And so two things I do to stay in tune, to keep my heart in tune with God. So God then alerted me, and so I knew what I had to do next uh, to show that the devil is not in control, that I am in control. I took three... Uh, I took three photographs and cut them to pieces, and then I... Um, shuffled them up like shuffling cards, gambling cards um, that people use at uh, typical ga typical gambling places. <laughs> and then in a single bits, I had then um, used technology to glue the single bits onto my profile that nobody knew that they were blinded by it. Um, so it was hidden within my profile um, so that knowing that God's kingdom is in control, this is not going to be Satan's altar. This is my altar. This is my altar for Jesus. This is my public witness that even though I'm being robbed and raped, 
and ignorant people are ignoring me, ignoring the cries of the poor, ignoring the cries of the widow. God has not ignored me. And this is why I did it. So nobody knew, nobody could see. It was hidden, out of sight, exactly as the way I had been ill-treated by the public. They couldn't see, they were blinded of the fact that I was being robbed and raped by these intruders. So God had blessed me again and resurrected me from the dead with Jesus and King David and the Holy Spirit. Again and again I come back. (sighs) Like someone cuts off the flower and the flower regrows or cuts off a branch and the branch regrows. In the presence of God, there is no death and there is no destruction. Even if I am confronted with the enemies of God and my enemies. God made Adam and Eve at the beginning, the first humans in the first garden to be perfect. And England reminds me of um, Garden of Eden in many ways because it's so lush, green and beautiful as these frozen peas. And um, in its fertile, very fertile. So I lost my fertility. I became sterile through systems and through men that didn't care about me, really. I never really had a big man with a big dick. I always had small men with small dicks. Um, But in total, I've had two. I've had many men want to try it on with me. However... They didn't actually have sex with me. Um, So in total, there were two men that had sex with me. Um, And so one of which is dead. 